So in my Brightspace course shell, I have this link right here that students can click on to join our live Teams meeting when it's their scheduled time for class. Now, in order to create this, I started out on Canva and I have a free account for educators that gives me access to great features. So I chose the animated social media options and I browsed through all the pre-made selections until I found something that was kind of close to what I wanted. And in this case, I chose this one. And of course, I didn't need it to say these things, so I changed it to apply to what I wanted. And then I even um, changed the background to a different color. I mean, it could be whatever you want. I'll leave it at the default for now. Um, and then I went to Elements and I searched for Teams. And they even had a little icon built right in. Uh, or something like that. Uh, anyways, and because it's animated, I wanted to download it, uh, but not as a video. I am downloaded it as a GIF or GIF, however you prefer to pronounce it. It's fine by me. I'm not going to get into that debate. So anyways, that's saved on my computer. Now, next, I jumped over to my Brightspace course shell and I went to edit course and then to widgets. I created a new widget. Um, you can give it any name you want, save it, and then come over to content. Now in here I want to insert that image that I just made. Now it's important to do the alt text, uh, especially for accessibility reasons. Uh, if any of your students have uh, low vision needs, their screen readers will be able to read what you put in the alt text, but if you don't, then they'll have a hard time with that. So do take the time to do it anytime it asks you. So now the graphic is there, but it doesn't link anywhere yet. So I have to get the link to my Teams meeting. So what I did is I went to my Outlook calendar and I created a new event. It doesn't really matter when you schedule it for. Um, then you have to switch on that it's for a Teams meeting and you can invite your students. Now, if you are inviting your students, I would make it for a logical time because they will get a notification about when you've scheduled it for so you don't want them to get some email that you've scheduled a meeting sometime that you know you're not actually going to be there so maybe schedule it for the very first time you have class um perfect and then i'm going to save that and then i'm going to jump over to teams don't know if you have to do this but i did just to check make sure that it was showing up in my calendar in Teams. And of course, I scheduled it on the weekend, so I'm just gonna change that to week. There it is. Right, so right here I have the link to join my Teams meeting. But before I grab that, I do want to show you in meeting options a couple of things that might be helpful to you. Who can bypass the lobby? If you change this to only me, then your students will have to wait in the lobby until you get there and admit them to the meeting. If it's set to um, people in my organization, the students will be able to join the meeting before you're there. And it's just whether or not you're comfortable with that. And with who can present, make sure it's set to only you. Um, 
people who are presenters can mute other people, kick other people out of the meeting, and so on. So if only you can do those things, then you're not going to have any shenanigans. If you do need a student to present at a certain point in time, you can temporarily give them that permission, but generally you probably don't want them to be able to do that. So I've saved those settings. Then I'm going to click in the middle of this link down here um, and right click and copy the link address from that right there. And then I'm gonna hop back over to my widget editor here Click once to select your graphic and then click on insert quick link and go down to URL. And right here you will paste that link and you, I chose to have it open in a new window and insert. Now I'm going to save and close. And just because you created a widget doesn't mean it shows up on your homepage yet. So hop over to home pages find the home page that you're using, open up the editor, scroll down to here, and wherever you'd like to add the widget, that's where you'll click. And just find whatever you named your widget as and add it, and then save and close. Now if I go back home, There is my widget. Now, of course, I could have dragged and dropped it so that it appeared above the news. It's up to you what you'd like. And again, you can always go right here and style your widget differently. So you don't have to display the title and you don't have to display the container around it. That is up to you. But there you go. And now when your students click on it, it will take them to your Teams meeting.